Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're gonna be taking a look at this portable mini espresso machine from a company called Outen, Outen, O-U-T-I-N. They reached out and asked if I'd be interested in checking it out and they sent it over so I can do that. And it actually came at a perfect time because I recently moved locations for work and um, I don't have the access that I had before to the kitchen where I can make a cup of coffee if I wanted to. So this is perfect because I can actually use this at my desk without having to worry about going to the kitchen or anything like that to make myself just a quick cup of coffee or uh, um, a quick shot of espresso to kind of get me through the day. So this is the box that it came in. On the side right here it says, enjoy your perfect espresso anytime, anywhere. It says that it has a massive battery. You can do hot or cold brew and obviously portable design. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what all is inside. All right. So right at the top, uh, you have a little thank you card here, which is nice. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, contact us and they give you their email address there. So that's nice. And then you have this carrying case inside of a bag. So we will put the box off the side here and let's go ahead and open up the bag here so we can get into the carrying case. Now I do like the fact that they've included that carrying case uh, just because it makes it a lot easier to obviously carry the Outen um, but uh, or I'm not call it the Outen I know that's the name of the company but I'll call it the same thing so, so to carry your portable mini espresso machine with you but also to keep everything organized. Now it does say designed in California right at the bottom there and then you have a picture of the machine there and then on the opposite side you have pretty much the same thing that you have on the side of the box you have a nice carrying handle here uh, and it is pretty sturdy which is good so it's not gonna you're not gonna have to worry about any of the inside anything on the inside getting crushed or anything like that you have your zippers right here which open up very nicely and as you open up the carrying case here you have two sections the lid right here has a couple things inside of it, or just one thing I should say. You have your user guide. Um, it's always good to kind of read through your user guides um, just so you understand exactly how to use um, any type of, uh, especially electrical equipment, anything that has running parts and things like that. It is always good to um, read through your user guide. And then you have a little brush here to clean it off. That is nice. Make sure you keep everything nice and clean. Now, I like the fact that it has this spot here because you can actually put anything else that you want would want to put in there. So maybe if you want to put like a spoon or something like that, uh, maybe anything else that will help you with, uh, let's say, lunch or whatnot, you can obviously put that in there as well. On the opposite side here, you have a couple things. The first thing is you're going to have this little kind of foam piece here. Now, this section here is going to be where you're actually going to put your espresso grounds. So um, if you have your beans ground down to, you know, to grounds, you can go ahead and put those there. That is what this is for, and it has its own little kind of cutout on there. And besides that, you do have three, uh, I'm sorry, four um, sections here that have already been cut out, but they have these little plugs in there. Now these are um, because with the um, espresso machine here, you can actually use the uh, Nespresso, kind of like those little um, uh, capsules. You can actually use those with this. So this gives you a spot so you can actually hold four of them as well. So if you have a particular flavor that you like, or you want to use those instead, you can go ahead and use that. If not, if you have your coffee grounds that you enjoy, you can use this um, portion there. Underneath there, you have a little uh, scooper here. This is what you're going to use to kind of scoop those uh, coffee grounds and put them into the receptacle there. You do have your uh, charging cable here. This is your standard USB to USB-C. That is cool that they do include that. And then you have a little um, kind of towel, kind of rag here. Um, this is good if you want to go ahead and set it down as you're working um, so everything is nice and clean. And if you want to use it to kind of clean up after yourself, you can go ahead and use that too. And then you have the actual um, Outen, the mini espresso machine here. It comes in this kind of um, felt material, a little bag here, which is nice. It obviously um, makes it look nice and quality. You have these two little pull strings on here with little danglers at the end. Very, very nice quality. I love the packaging. I think they did a really, really awesome job. I am a sucker for packaging and um, they really outdid themselves with this one. So here is the um, portable mini espresso machine from Outen. Um, as you can see it here in my hand, it is not very big. It's um, roughly the size of like a 24 ounce water bottle, or if you guys can um, 
think of that, envision that, that's probably what I would equate it to. Um, you know, one of those that refillable water bottles that you would that you would purchase with the lids and stuff like that. That's probably the size of it here. So you do have a um, power button here. I believe this button basically does everything. Um, you know, powers the unit and sets the different modes as, as far as how you're going to be using it. And then you have a little LED light bar right there. Obviously, the name of the company there. On the back here, you do have the area where you're going to be um, connecting the charger. Let me see if I can get that open so I can show you guys what that looks like. Um, sometimes these little plugs are very tight. So um, the, I think I almost had it there. No. Okay. Well, as you can tell, that is, oh, there it is. There we go. So that is where you would connect your USB-C charger to go ahead and charge it up. And now at the top section right here, when you remove that, that is where you're going to put your water. And I don't know if you guys can make it out, but there is a couple of fill lines right here. You have a 50 milliliter, 70 milliliter, and then a max fill line. That's nice that it's um, kind of etched into the inside right there of the water reservoir. So you can tell how much um, water you can put in there. So depending on how big a cup you want. So if you want just a shot, you can use 50 milliliters. If you want something a little bit bigger, you can go up from there. Then um, this is actually pressure fitted in there. You do have like rubber uh, seal right here. So you just pressure fit in there so it's not a screw cap or anything like that. Towards the bottom here, um, this is also pressure fitted. You do have some rubber um, sections right here. This is going to be basically a cup. And um, the cool thing about this is that you don't have to bring a cup along with you if you want to drink it right out of here. Obviously, if you do have your own little cup that you like to use or something like that, um, you can use that. But if not, you can drink it right out of here. And then on the bottom here, as you open this, um, you have the section here that you're going to use with those little um, uh, Nespresso uh, capsules. This is what you're going to use for that. If you're not using that, then you can just go ahead and remove that and put this back on. And then the really awesome thing is that when you go to brew your um, espresso, you can actually um, either hold this over a particular cup if you're going to be using something different than the one that's included. If not, you can actually um, put this in there and set this up right and you can press it and brew it and it will actually brew um, right into the cup here. So once you're done, all you have to do is remove the machine itself and just drink your coffee out of there. Uh, this is where this little rag would come into place. Probably what I would do is I would lay this out. That way when I take this out, I wanna make sure that any drops or anything like that don't go over my desk or anything like that. So I will set it off there and I can go ahead and drink my espresso shot right out of there. So. Um, really, really awesome the fact that they do include everything that you're going to need in order to get you started. Um, obviously, if you have um, your own preferences as far as maybe those little capsules from Nespresso, um, you can go ahead and use um, this particular one. If not, if you want to use your own coffee grounds, then you use um, the other one there. And it's very nice and compact, which is basically the best selling feature of this is how compact it is. Everything kind of fits right into each other and you are good to go. I would almost venture to say that if I could fold this small enough, I could probably fit this right at the top there and keep that with me. Um, that way, if I don't want to take the carrying case, maybe I just want to take um, the espresso machine right in here, I can go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and um, charge up the device here, the um, uh, mini espresso machine, and then we'll see if we can make ourselves a cup of coffee so you can see how that goes. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go through the process of actually um, making ourselves a shot of espresso using the Outen uh, portable mini espresso machine here. So obviously the key things that you're gonna need is either the Nespresso uh, Nes capsules, if you're gonna go ahead and use those, or you'll need your coffee grounds as I have here, and then water. Now, the great thing about this is that you can, as I mentioned, easily make this at your desk. You can have your coffee and then get water from either a water fountain or a water bottle like I have it here. Now, I've been talking about wanting to use um, the machine here in you know in my everyday uh, work so I can have it at my desk and use it whenever I need it but there's obviously a ton of usage for um, the portable espresso uh, machine here um, things like camping if you're gonna go be out and about and you just want to make yourself and or others a nice cup of espresso you can go ahead and do that but obviously because of my scenario I wanted to go ahead and do this on my desk here so you can see how easy it is so as I mentioned I'm gonna be using ground coffee so instead of using the adapter here that you would put
put the capsules into, I will use this one here. And basically to just take the top off. And then I've actually already uh, kind of scooped out a little bit of coffee onto the scooper here. And then again, this is where the towel here comes into play. So you're just gonna scoop that right into the container there. And then you can use the cap itself to kind of tamp it down. So as you see, I use a little bit too much. So there's a little bit of spillage there, which is perfectly fine because the towel is doing a great job at holding that. So now you go ahead and put the cap on. Okay, make sure that is nice and secure. So clean up my hands here. Then you will get your um, machine here, take off the top. And I have just a regular uh, small little bottle of water here. And then again, as I mentioned, you do have a couple of fill lines right in there. Now, the beauty of this is you can use um, cold or warm water, and then the machine will actually heat the water, and then it will extract the um, coffee grounds and do your espresso. Or you can actually use boiling water and then just do the extraction itself. So if you're using cold or warm water, the, the machine at full charge will actually give you um, anywhere from four to five cups of hot espresso. And that's using the 50 milliliter setting there. But if you use boiling water, since you're just doing the extractions, you can actually make over a hundred cups. Not exactly sure if you use the little capsules, how much you'll get, but obviously um, that is um, the different choices that you have. So let's go ahead and pour some water in here. Uh, I'm gonna fill it all the way up to the 50 milliliter line there. All right, so there it is. And again, this is great because I can just have a small container of coffee in my desk and then a water bottle or go to the water fountain and put some water in here as well. Now you will remove the cup from the bottom and then you will take off the bottom portion here and then you will put in your coffee grounds and then you'll screw this back on make sure that you're getting it nice and tight um, because you want to make sure that you do have some pressure buildup in there and then you just sit it right back into the cup there. Again, um, if you wanted to use your own cup, you can go ahead and just hold the machine over it. But since I'm using the included cup here, I'll go ahead and do that. Now, because I am using warm water, so um, cold or warm water, I'm actually going to need the machine to heat it and then extract it as well. So in order to do that, what I'll do is I will long press the button right here for two seconds. Let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, and you hear a beep, and then you actually hear um, the buzzer will start and then it'll start heating. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's gonna go ahead and start heating the water. And then from there, you're gonna hear another beep, which means that it is complete, and then the extraction will start automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and we'll be right back. Now, once it is done, Heating, you'll hear a beep and then you'll see it start extracting so you might be able to see the um, espresso actually pouring out of the bottom there and then because it is espresso you will have some foam also now the heating process takes anywhere from three to four minutes and then you go through the extraction process and then once it is finished you can go ahead and stop it and enjoy your cup of coffee or your shot of espresso so let's go ahead and take a look at that all right, so uh, it's been a couple seconds that it's been extracting, so I will go ahead and stop it. And basically all you do is you just press the button right here and that will stop it. Now you can go ahead and remove the top portion of the machine. Uh, and as you can see, the smoke there means it's nice and hot. So we'll put this over here. Again, this is where the uh, towel there comes in handy. And as you guys can see there, it nicely and quickly and very, um, easily brewed, uh, you have yourself a brewed uh, shot of espresso. Um, it is very, very warm. Uh, it's actually very warm to the touch. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick taste test here. Oh, very, very good. And again, um, you're free to add anything else that you would add to it. If you wanna add some creamer, or if you wanna add some sugar or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. But as you can see, it is very easy, um, very compact and um, very effortlessly, you can go ahead and, and brew yourself a quick shot of espresso right at your desk. If you need to pick me up in the middle of the day, at the end of the day to kind of get you through the day, if you want to go ahead and include the Nespresso um, little cups, you can go ahead and include those. Um, I like the fact that they do include the um, 
obviously the the portion here that you would put those into the little capsules but also the ability to carry up to four of those with you in the carrying case i think for the most part this is a great option for a um just anywhere you can you can you know make yourself a shot or cup of it, of espresso anywhere you're at as i mentioned i would probably be using this in an office setting right at my desk it's not very loud you can easily do this if it's a you know in a crowded area but if you go out camping um maybe you go on a picnic or something like that and you want to go ahead and um you know bring this with you and um you know kind of make yourself a cup or, sh or shot of espresso on the go um, i think alton did a great job i will leave a link below if you guys are interested in picking up one of these Alton portable mini espresso machines. I think they're um, it's going to be great either for yourself or if you want to maybe pick one up for a gift, especially right around the holidays. This would make a great gift for those folks that you know that love coffee. Um, they're always having their shots of, of uh, espresso later in, in the day and you can make their day by giving them one of these. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.